Whoa, hi, I'm your average Joe. Actually, my name is Joe, and my friends call me Jojo. Yeah, you know, I work at the construction site down the street. You, you probably have seen me. You're the balding, uh, well, I actually I shaved my head, <laughs> and the women think this is kind of, never mind. See, here I am, trying to walk out the door, and my wife calls out to me. Jojo, she yells. Don't forget about your doctor's appointment. I won't, I said. I crossed my fingers and asked God to forgive my little white lie because I completely forgot about my annual physical. It's at 8 o'clock. Well, I look at my watch and I get to stepping because it's 7.30 and I just make the bus. <laughs> you know, wait a minute, you know, that's probably why my blood pressure was... Well, anyway, I get to the doctor's office with a minute to spare and the nurse comes out, takes me promptly to the examination room. Oh, real pretty nurse, you know. Don't tell my wife I said that. Anyway, the nurse weighs me, and my weight has shot up even more. Now, I'm not too worried about that, because you see, I'm really active, you see. But then, they take my blood pressure, and that's when it really starts to get serious. First thing I know, I'm in the hospital, and there's this doctor telling me, Joe, you've got hypertension. Hyper what? You've got hypertension. Hyper what? I ask him again. And then he gets all disgusted, and I think he's gonna leave the room, but instead, he sits down all patient-like and, and begins explaining my illness to me. Hey, well, I just <laughs> ease back, close my eyes, and let the doctor just tell me what's going on. Joe, doctors use the term hypertension to describe high blood pressure. Then, he takes my wrist and takes my hand and turns it over. If you look at your hands and or thighs, you can see arteries running like little highways all across your body, for they transport your blood to and from the heart. Sir? 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I was just <laughs> resting my eyes, Doc. <laughs> Do you want to know about this disease or not? He says all angry and everything. Uh, yes, sir, I do, uh, I say. You know, I, I have a lovely wife, three beautiful children, and a small but lovely home, so I want to stay here as long as the good Lord allows. So, uh, tell me about this hyper... Do you drive, Joe? Well, think of your blood pressure as the heart, driving the blood through your arteries. But the arteries are tiny, so when the blood begins moving along through the arteries, it pushes against the walls of those little arteries creating pressure. I get it, I get it. Kind of like water in a water hose. Yes, but the water hose being much smaller. Okay. You get two kinds of pressure. Well, how so? The heart beats and stops. It beats and stops. Yeah. Each heartbeat pumps the blood out and the pressure in the arteries is higher. Are you following me, Joe? Uh, I think so. Because of those two types of blood pressure, we give them two different types of names. The pressure in your arteries and the heart is pumping blood out, we call that systolic. But the pressure generated when the heart is at rest, we call that diastolic. Doc, mm -hmm. which one is most important? They're both important. That's why we report them together. We put the systolic on top and the diastolic on the bottom. So, the 120 over 80 is the magic number? Kind of. Not so long ago, um, you know, the doctors looked at the numbers. Now, if your reading was, uh, let's say, 120 over 80 or less, we assume that your pressure was normal. If your pressure was 120 uh, to 139 and uh, 80 over to 89, we consider you to have prehypertension. If one's pressure was 140 to 159 over 90 to 99, and if your pressure was 160 or higher over 100 or higher, then Joe, you had stage two hypertension. Well, Doc, what was my blood pressure? Okay, now no, calm down. Uh, your pressure, uh, your pressure can increase even more when you get excited or nervous or active. Calm down. You telling me I'm dead and I'm supposed to calm down? That's why we hospitalized you, Joe. We need to know how your hypertension relates to your overall health. If my blood pressure is so high, how come I don't feel sick? Hypertension is like that. But how so? Your symptoms would include headache, morning headache, ringing in the head, 
uh, dizziness, confusion, and other, but much of the time, well, much of the time there will be no symptoms. Yeah, but if I did have the symptoms, what would they be? Well, Joe, there are some critical steps that we both must take. The first step begins with me. Mm. So, what do we do? Well, as the 20th annual meeting of the American Society of Hypertension, Inc., providers changed the definition of hypertension. How so? Today, we look at blood pressure as it relates to the total health of the individual. That's why I need to do a thorough physical examination so that I can identify whether you already have heart or kidney damage. I also need to see if there are other abnormalities in your cardiovascular system. Doctors can't rely on numbers alone anymore. So what do I do? First, you have to do something about your weight. You also have to improve your physical condition, change your diet, moderate your use of alcohol, be physically active, and reduce stress. Well, well, Doc, I understand that, but you're asking me to change my whole lifestyle. That's right. <sighs> Joe, I will see you shortly. Okay, uh, Doc.